on the table Lego Ninjago Skull Sorcerer's Dragon. Hi guys, it's Dan at Squirrel Stampede. Today we're building dragons. Lots of people have requested and I really wanted to build a dragon. It's been a while since I built a dragon and this dragon fits perfectly with the Skull Sorcerer's dungeons. So let's get right to this amazing build. Oh Nia, I'm so glad we could finally spend some time together at the park. Ah, can you just smell that fresh Ninjago City air? That's not all I'm smelling. Say, can I go get you a world famous hot dog? <laughs> There's something about this park. I seem to recall being on the news for some reason. They're world famous hot dogs? No. The disproportionately scaled trees? No. The way too young baby on the dangerous merry-go-round? No. The Skull Sorcerer's Dragon then, on its seasonal migration swooping down on the park? Dropping spider bone bombs on the people? Yeah, that's it. Okay then. Well, next time, let's just go to a movie instead. Ah, get him off! Get him off! Ah. Squirrel Stampede! Please squirt, squirrel, and squamant. 970. This may be getting serious, squirrel -ibers. On the table, Lego Ninjago, set number 71721, Skull Sorcerer's Dragon. 1,016 pieces and a lot of bones included. Lego minifigures included Hero J, Hero Nia, Hero Kai, Skull Sorcerer, and Awakened Warriors. On the back of the box, just look at this bony dragon and a lot more pieces to integrate into your Skull Sorcerer's Dungeons game. Inside the box, a thick book of instructions, your guide to the Skull Sorcerer's Dungeons game, a modest amount of stickers, bag one of pieces, bag two, bag three, bag four, there's five, and six, seven, and eight bags of pieces. Also a game dice spinning piece, and a something in this mystery box. Time to drag in this sorcerer's skull.
and there it is, the Skull Sorcerer's Dragon. <laughs> Once again, a very enormous and fine-tuned detailed dragon from LEGO Ninjago. This bony dragon is taking up a ton of table space. What is this wingspan at? It's got to be 14 feet. Okay, more like 22 inches, but it feels like 14 feet. And look, fabric wings! Fabric wings! They're soft and warm with lots of holes in them but so much more flexible than the traditional plastic wings we've seen for so long. And it's a soft, flexible kind of fabric too, not the rigid kind you see on some of the capes. The print looks fantastic. What a super upgrade for dragon wings. As for features of this magnificent bony hulk, there's quite a bit of articulation in there. The head and neck are on several ball joints, one, two ball joints, and then we've got an opening and closing jointed jaw, which you can kind of hinge in a variety of ways and several bony features you can kind of move around for some good facial expressions too on this guy we've got interesting wing hinges they're on ball joints but they're very well built into the shoulders of the dragon so they kind of just sit on top in a weird way you can move them about though with pretty good motion you can pull them back you can pull them forward uh, but they can get hung up a little bit on the top of the shoulder, but I guess that just gives it good stability. As the Skull Sorcerer kind of pops off his little standing point here, it's not really a saddle. He stands in between two stud shooters. I really like the flat stud shooters. They're the best. Pop in a couple here. I can't remember how many you can fit in. That's one, two, three... Okay, so three studs will fit in the shooters on the back there, and then you press in the post, and they fire back right hitting me in the stomach. Ugh. For dragon mobility on the legs, they are on ball joint at the knee and ball joint at the ankle with moving toes. Very intricate toes. And the back legs here. Moving hip hinges and ankles. And finally, if we can find enough room to swing him around here, we do have tail articulation and the tail will move about. It kind of just, gravity keeps making it want to go to one side. It's a very loose fitting tail. These aren't ball joints, these are those cool little hinges and I like the sword tail. Really gives it a nice little extra reach of about three inches on that tail. Fantastic detail though going down the back. I know this is a little trickier dragon to see when building because it's so white. I always forget to place a speed build on maybe a darker material. But look at all the bone structure and the back, looks fantastic. Then you've got a bunch of ribbing going down its side. And then a special treat inside, it can hold onto a spider bone bomb. Uh, I wish we had a couple extra ones of these, they only include one, but you place it inside here. And then when you're flying around, he'll drop it. Not so clumsily, let's try it again. And a drop, there we go. So that's a great, fun, unique feature for this dragon. It's so glowy too, all the little green glowy pieces throughout, just enough to make it kind of look alive. So what a fantastic dragon build. It is enormous. Oop, there he finally goes. At 1,016 pieces for the full set, I would say the dragon must be about 800 pieces itself. And it is absolutely menacing awesome. Well, what else is included with this set? It's been a little while since we built the Skull Dungeons of Shintaro, the Ninjago Skull Dungeons game. We have a few pieces included with this set that you can increase the size of your dungeons. We've got a cool little statue piece here, and it has some sort of strange action feature. I believe it has to do with landing on this spot. Who wants to land on this spot? I think Jay does. That's really funny because I was just leaving. No, no, Jay, you get back here and test it out. All right, all right, jeez, excuse me, this table's a mess. So if uh, Jay were to land on that spot, ah! the statue will come tumbling down. So kind of fun piece, if Jay could get past this point, he would have received the Ivory Blade of Deliverance, which is over here on the stand, and it's, it's not wanting to let go. There's spiders all over the place, by the way. Great little extra minifigure to this little statue. It's not listed as a minifigure of this collection, but it pretty much is a minifigure, bumping the six minifigures up to seven, really. Then the other piece of the dungeons over here, which you can, again, place onto your main dungeon map, and we'll do so in just a second. 
We've got just another little area. I don't see anything too special. Its central feature is this rotational point here. Kind of reminds me of some of the Mario sets we've been looking at recently. There's Nia, and we're going to rotate her around over here to this point. Actually, it's got a three, a three point there, so you can have her go a few different directions depending on how you build your game map. I like the little skull head there. It's such great detail with these sets. Little blue gem treat and a uh, heart part there for maybe knocking a heart out or in. I haven't really played the game much. I don't really know what I'm doing. It's just a beautiful set. Oh, and of course, I probably should have mentioned this first. There's your ninja dice spinner. This is how you determine how you get around the board. We've got Kai inside, so somehow you would give that a spin and then you would give it a go. Let's look at the minifigures a little closer. So the assortment of ninja you get with this set are Kai, hey. Nia, <laughs> and my favorite Jay. Ugh. The ninja in this collection are so nicely detailed, kind of knighted out in a way with some really fantastic lion shields, and they have clips on the back to hold onto their weapons and or shield. Also then for them to fight, awakened warriors. Where did the other awakened warrior go? Oh wait, there he is, under the dragon, way back here. Alright, we've got two Awakened Warriors. I love the Skeleton Warriors. They're always great to fight with. And of course, over here, the Skull Sorcerer. Which I think we've seen many of these with the Skull Sorcerer's dungeons already. Oh, and two of the Ninja have game-playing pieces. I think it was Kai and Jay. Although you can also use Nia with them. They have a nice little spot to play some weapons in. And they all have their little heart meters for gameplay. Really quick, back to the Skull Sorcerer's Dungeons, which we built several months ago now. Hard to believe it feels like it was just yesterday. Somehow it has survived to sit next to the floor near my desk. I've only stepped on it a hundred times. Ouch. I believe the map suggests we place these expansion pieces up front. Somehow. Just a few rotations around. There's all sorts of clips on these things. There's the hidden clip. That's going to clip right up here up front. And then we can swing on in the statue piece over here. So up front or anywhere else too you want to add it into. For the moment I've removed this expansion area just so I could fit everything on the table. It's pretty clever how they've integrated all these expansion pieces into a larger set for a larger game. Oh my. And there you can see the scale of the Skull Sorcerer's Dragon at the Skull Sorcerer's Dungeons next to the Skull Sorcerer's Bathroom. Oh, okay, there's no bathroom. Really quite completes the skeleton of an island. I would have to go back into the rules of this game. I'm not sure if the Skull Sorcerer's Dragon plays any part. It would be kind of cool if it was like a critical hit where you flew him over and dropped the spider bomb onto a character. I'm sure you could probably add that in into your own game rules. With all of us, Home Lego is extremely popular this year. I've noticed the Skull Sorcerer is out of stock right now on legoshop.com. I just recently picked him up at Walmart. I think it was running on sale at 70 that day, but it's about 70, 80. You should still be able to find these guys pretty well in the Lego aisle. It's a really fantastic build and I'm glad I made the time for it before the year end. And that is the Skull Sorcerer's Dragon. Such bony detail with this set. Great build overall, perfect size, just a little bit larger than medium, but not too crazy huge. I enjoyed the build, I enjoyed the bones, I enjoyed all the elements to this. Adding it into Skull Sorcerer's Dungeons was great. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel eye, and a squamant so we can talk all about our favorite squirrel dinosaur dragon bone. Yeah, what would be the best? Probably like the squeamer or the... the... Squid cage? A squid cage? What is that? I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, great toys. Thank you for watching. That's what I have to say about that.